Good evening, everyone. Uh, tonight, I'm going to try, and I hope this turns out because I'm really excited to try it. Tonight, I'm going to try ribeye fried rice. Uh, using, I'm using a recipe that calls for chicken, but we've had a lot of chicken the last few days, so I thought we would switch up. So I'll put a little oil on, and I'm going to brown up. I'm going to brown up the ribeyes first, and I put a little. <clears throat> Put some garlic on them, and because I didn't want to mess with garlic cloves tonight, that's a bit much to mince up garlic cloves. That's more of an effort than I wanted to make. I'm just going to brown this up. This is the cool side, so I'm going to let it sit once I get it browned up, and that's all we're going to do is brown it up. Because you know me and my hard meat, I can't stand it. Looks like shoe leather. And I've learned a few tricks along the way, like I, I was using my scraper to scrape off all the leftover burnt debris on my grill. And I, I was watching some videos and the guys that do this professionally were using their scraper as a second hand. And I thought, well, now how clever is that? So I thought I'd try it. This is coming along nicely. Might have it turned up a bit much, like a whole lot bit much. This is this is actually trying to toast a little bit. Okay, looks like these are ready, so we're going to move these over here to the side. Let them sit, because it's on the cool side, so it'll be okay. I'm going to... Uh, Use, <clears throat> use peas and carrots tonight and they're frozen so I didn't have to thaw them out or anything I'm just going to put them in right out of the freezer put a little more oil down let this grill cool down a little bit I had it just a hair hot Peas went everywhere. Throw this in carrot. I love peas and carrots. But you could use mixed vegetables or whatever you wanted to. What we're going to do... I'm going to get these going. I'm going to put some soy sauce on it. There's a couple of ways you can do this. I'm a fan of teriyaki sauce, and I'm not really too much of a fan of soy sauce. I mean, uh, sesame sauce. So I'm gonna put on some soy sauce. And get this stuff going. Ooh, that looks good. Smells good. Smelling more like I'm at a, a Japanese steakhouse every second. The more I do. Now I'm going to put in my minced onion. I'm sorry, diced onions, not mint. I'm 
My goodness, that, those onions. I love the smell of onions cooking. I'm not a real raw onion type person, and I don't want these to caramelize, I don't think. I just want everything to get cooked up really well. And I think we're doing great in that regard. Now this goes pretty quick. Uh, the next thing I do, once I get this all done, I'm gonna also set it aside along with, with the meat. And I'm gonna bring the rice over and we're gonna start working now. I've gotta do this twice. Uh, Beverly can't have white rice, so but she can have brown rice because her diabetes goes crazy if she has white rice. So I'm going to make hers first in the brown rice and while we're on camera and then I'll do mine afterwards and then I'll get a photo like a, or a video like I usually do with a finished product. But this was a half a bag of peas and carrots and I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit of teriyaki sauce to try to flavor it up. Not a lot, but just a little. And uh, come here, bud. These peas are having fun with me. They like to roll around, and that's okay. I always catch them. Look, doesn't this look wonderful? My goodness, the onions are smelling great. Come here, little guy. Okay, I think we're getting close to done here. So just a little further and make sure we got everything just right. chefs in the Japanese steakhouse eat your heart out. This smells absolutely wonderful. If I've got your mouth watering, deservedly snow. So this stuff smells absolutely great. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful looking? Okay, now we're going to just move this over here. Get this on the cool side. Get it so it stops cooking, so everything's great. Come here. Okay. Next, we're going to put on. Next, I'm going to put on Beverly's rice, and I need some more oil so it doesn't stick. Now, she made up the rice about five or six hours ago, put it in the refrigerator, and we uh, don't cover it up. We, you want it to get dried out, some of the moisture gone, because apparently this stuff sticks together and it's more difficult to cook with when you put it on a griddle, so. I like using this, ow, burn myself. I like using this copper scraper. This is wonderful. Next, I need my onions. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay, yeah, the eggs come next. I'm going to put in some eggs. For Beverly's, we're going to put in two eggs.
Come here. I'm thinking I might have to put a little spacer under this because everything, the elevation is such that everything's running down to the back, more so than I've seen in the videos, and that's that's not helping me very much. So I'm fighting it more than I am helping. So I'm going to have to look at that. I might go get some washers and get a couple of solid uh, quarter inch or eighth inch washers and just play with it a little bit until I can get it figured out. They're almost there, we just let them cook up a little more. We don't want these really hard we just want them to where they're just softly cooked because they're going to continue to cook with the rice. Can't forget to take care of the rice as it goes. Now, I don't add salt and pepper with this. Uh, you can do that when you get to the table. And you, you know, and you, it might be that you like more soy sauce. So you can do that too once you sit down. Just, uh, Everyone basically gets to do, they make their, this is my meal, you can do your meal the same way you're close or make changes. The fun thing is just being able to get out here and do it, not having to stand in the kitchen and just having fun. Add a little more soy sauce. A little more teriyaki, just a hair, not much. Mix it up a little more. Get it all spread around. Make sure everything's cooked well. The eggs, the rice, everything's good and cooked up. And the last step was just mixing it all together. And so Beverly's going to have leftovers for sure. I don't think she can wipe this out in one sitting, but that little girl's got a a big appetite, so you never know. She just might. Look at that. Now, boy, that's a that's a great looking meal right there. Now let's take about half of these peas, carrots, mix them all in. And give her most of the meat because no, I don't need all that she meat. needs more protein than I do, trying to make her heart better. So we 
I do everything I can to make sure she gets what she needs. You got a plate ready? I'm ready to do it here in a second. It's almost done. It's just a matter now of getting it warmed all back up and getting it all blended in. And I think we're getting there. And I hope you all are enjoying my videos. If they get to be a pain in the butt, they're on YouTube. You can find me on Rick Rogers. And uh, I was going to get me a, a grilling channel, but they tell me I have to have another email address. And I might look at that one day, but... Right now, I'm just having fun, and that sounds like a lot of work. And that's not really what it's all about. Okay, wow. Beverly? There you are. Let's bring it over a little more. I like right. this using this chopper as a the scraper is a chopper and a scooper and everything else. Come over here, guys. Okay. Here, let me show them. There's her, there's her beautiful bowl. Now, that's a, a meal in itself right there and leftovers. What do you think? Smells wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this off, and then I'm going to finish mine. And then I'll show you what the finished product looks like in a couple of minutes. Okay, we're here. We're back again. I just sampled my mine, and I, it's wonderful. I didn't put quite as much teriyaki sauce in mine. Uh, Beverly's had a little bit too much teriyaki sauce. It's still, she said, very good, except it had just a little more teriyaki sauce than she'd have preferred. Overall, I would say this was a big success. We have lots of food that uh it took we used a, one cup of rice for white rice for me and one cup of brown rice for beverly and that's enough for easily two maybe three meals so we're i'm pleased with how it turned out uh again this was my first attempt so it's all a learning process hope you all enjoyed it uh, have a great evening bye